This is an extract from A Useful Guide to Hypnosis, published by Pansophix. Installing a control panel. In this session, I thought I'd do something a little bit more adventurous. I would like you to consider what it'd be like if you did in your own mind actually have a control panel totally of your own design, which had, say, a big lever, that if you put it up, you could become really energetic, really passionate, really determined. And if you took it down, while you would lose that determination, you would actually go into that state of comfortable relaxation, of softening, of totally letting go and trusting the universe that all is working out in the best way for you. So you had a lever that in any way that worked for you, you could change it. You could easily relax by pushing it down. You just wanted to add a little bit more excitement, a little bit more passionate, that you put it up. And just imagine, if you wanted some time, you were just there, you were just resting in your normal state, and you actually knew that you had to take some action, and that in the past, you would have been, you would have been a bit hesitant, you would have done a little bit of procrastination, but you have a big red button there, and in your own mind, when you press that button, push! You immediately feel that energy going through all your body and almost without thinking, you start doing that task that you need to do. What would it be like that you had a big round wheel and when appropriate, and only when appropriate, you could turn down or turn up if it was useful to you turn down pain or discomfort. So if you ever got to that stage where you had a toothache, you had rung up the doctor, you had, or the dentist, you had arranged at a convenient time to you an appointment where it would get fixed out, where knowing that you'd done the appropriate thing to look after you in the right way, you could just take that big wheel and by rotating it a couple of times, say to the right, you could reduce that which was painful into mild discomfort, and from mild discomfort just to disappear away. So it was no longer on your in your conscious attention. And you'd do it in such a way that if there was some overpowering reason where you it would be right for you to deal with the pain because something had happened to the tooth, you needed to take action now, then the wheel would automatically come back and you would know it was time to take some more action. How would it be if there were situations where using this wheel again, you had an anxiety wheel? And that anxiety wheel meant that if you felt anxious for any particular reason, but it was very important for you at that time to step through that anxiety and do the thing that you needed to do, you could turn another wheel. And that anxiety started to go away until you found it quite pleasurable, until you were drawn forward to do easily and comfortably that action that you needed to do. And again, sometimes it's right to be anxious. Sometimes it's very good to get an early warning that you're putting yourself in a situation that might not be useful to you and might in some ways become dangerous. So maybe rather than giving yourself feelings of anxiety, you had a big warning light. And a warning light that actually would let your unconscious communicate to you that something wasn't quite right. It wouldn't make you feel bad, but you suddenly got a light glowing, just so you could become aware 
that you're putting yourself into a situation where you needed to be aware, that you needed to take notice of what was happening because there were some important things happening around you that you might need to take some, make some decisions on, or you might be getting in a situation that would be far better for you to turn around and leave. What would it be if you had a creativity lever? Where, as may be part of your job, and I appreciate this may not be the case, but maybe as a part of your job, you needed to get creative. You were composing some music. You were writing some prose. You were preparing a speech. You were coming up with something totally new. And rather than have to wait until that creativity occurred, you had a little button or a big button, whatever you choose, that if you pressed it, you could feel those creative juices coming alive and very quickly you would find yourself at the height of your creativity being able to do what it is you wanted to do at that time. How would it be in addition to your lever which lets you relax as opposed to be energetic you had a sort of off button where if you pressed it in a totally safe way, you would almost gently sit down and relax so you could actually let free all those chemicals that repair and refresh and regrow and do all those useful things to you could work brilliantly. So you wouldn't have fear, you wouldn't have any stress, you wouldn't have anything that got in the way of all those processes that repair and refresh you. And you could really, 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 really relax in a way that would dramatically help your health and fitness. What we're going to do in this session is start the process where you will begin to build all these things but in a way that's genuinely useful to you. Because what we're talking about is something potentially very powerful. And it's very important that you do it in a way, however quickly or slowly you do it, you want to do it at a speed that you're doing that's actually useful to you at a deep level. And what we're doing is laying down some seeds. We're planting some seeds so that you will, yes, will find yourself building this control panel in exactly an appropriate way for you to be able to use. Now, as you thought about the suggestion, I just want to make it easy for you to go into a slightly different trance state. There again, a very mild trance state where you can unlock a little bit more of your creativity and a little bit more of all those things that you need to start building this control panel. And of course, many of you already have a control panel. People have been doing this for thousands of millions of years. Some people have been um, are lucky enough that they're actually quite well down the way of designing this already. And if that's your case, what I want you to use this session for is enable you to refresh it, is enable you to make it more effective, is enable to enable you to add some more buttons. So we're now going to move on and we're going to help you go into a slightly different state. And while I'm not talking about a control panel, I know that your unconscious mind can start doing all the things that you need to do to put it in place. Now, do you feel the weight of your feet? Do be aware that as I pause, you can choose to go into a different mental state. That as you imagine that drop of water on a leaf, that powerful drop of water, that strong drop of water, 
that intuitive drop of water, that gorgeously green leaf that's soft and yet amazingly strong. And you can go deeper down because as I am saying these words to you, they can be a trigger for your unconscious mind to work on all the other things that are important to you and all the other things that will benefit from you. So while I'm saying these interestingly but in some ways meaningful and meaningless language, it can stimulate all those other processes that are going on that will help you start and continue planning all those wonderful things that you're already doing to achieve what's useful to you. Down, deeper, deeper, down. Glisten inside, inside, glisten. Relax now, now relax. Create brilliantly, brilliantly create. Breathe out, out, breathe. Brilliance inside, inside brilliance. Deepening now, now deepening. Creating more, more creating. Brilliantly learning, learning brilliantly. Life enjoyable, enjoyable life. Learning deeply, deeply learning. Good feelings, feelings good. Now in, in now, your way, way your. Design inside, inside design. Best the, the best. Control panel, panel control. Creative brilliance, brilliant creative. Trusting imagination, imagination trusting. Think now, now think. Create now, now create. Best lever, lever best. What feelings? Feelings what? Imagine now in your mind that you start creating some levers and attract some values to these levers that genuinely will be useful to you. But do make them big and bold. If you have a lever, have that lever to be big and bold and huge. And have it so you can imagine it going up. And so maybe even in your, you, you have to push it up with your hand, your imaginary hand. You have to push it down with your imaginary hand. Maybe you give it a colour. So it's a big red lever or a big blue lever. Or even a, maybe a lever that changes from red to blue. And just choose how you want it to be. As you push the lever up, you become more energetic. You become more able to easily do things. As you push it down, you easily relax and honestly let go. Push it down further and you honestly find that you let go to that state where you are relaxing and repairing. Just imagine a big action button, a button that if you in your mind press it, gives you that jolt that you will take action in the outside world and do whatever it is that you need to do now to get those huge benefits that you want. And I want you to create a really special button. Choose <clears throat> somewhere on your control panel, maybe in the middle, maybe in the top, maybe in the bottom. Choose a color for the button. Choose a texture for the button. And this is your magical button. This is that button that were you to choose to press it, your unconscious abilities would automatically, when you slept, when you dreamt, when you woke up, when you enjoyed your day, all the time that you do that, there will be processing going on. It already is going on in its own way. That 
a control panel will continually be built so it becomes exactly right for you. So without any thought, the processing that you have started will continue. And you might be really surprised that at that day when you notice it, you will realize that only when it's right for you and it does things that are genuinely in your benefit, you will have the ability to be able to manage yourself in that way that really will make you appreciate and achieve the very best things. Now, in the last few moments of this delightful relaxation, I just want you to feel those sensations in your body. And maybe you can feel going around you just a, a circle of good feelings. It's as though you're being bathed in sensations that are really pleasant and really positive. The tip of your head to the tips of your toes. The tips of your toes through your body to the top of your head. You can feel a flow of good, exhilarating, refreshing, learning feelings. And just let them flow around your body. Because at a deep unconscious level, I want you to be aware that having done this once, you will find it easier and easier to do. And the more you do it, the easier you will find it. Now, as we come to the end of this particular segment, I want you to remember that sometimes it's good to remember things. It's good to remember the things that are good to remember. And sometimes it's good to remember to forget the things that aren't useful to you. And at unconscious level, it's the same. Unconsciously, you can remember what's good and useful to remember. And you can remember to forget what isn't useful for you. And you can forget to remember also what isn't useful for you. And forget to forget all those things that will do you good. And I want you to be aware that you have the ability to do all that in an instant. So you're really left with the memories that some really good things have happened and that there are some really good learning processes going on and that you have actually started in exactly the right way for you to design that control panel to enable you to manage yourself in the very best possible way. And spend a few seconds in this state and only choose to come back to the room when you have made any changes from any learnings that you've had that are useful to you. So in some small or large way, you will find that those important learnings are continuing exactly in the right way for you. And when you've done that, and when I count from three to one, I want you to come back to the room totally refreshed, only taking on anything that is genuinely and honestly useful for you and your development, useful for you and your development, and useful for the people around you, and come back to the room. Three, two, one, open your eyes, feel really good. This is NLP trainer and business coach, Michael Beale, thanking you very much for listening and reminding you that what you have just heard is an extract from A Useful Guide to Hypnosis, published by Pansophix, P-A-N-S-O-P-H-I-X. Thank you.